In part two of this tutorial, we got to the stage where we'd put in the um, values, appropriate values for each of the cost for each of the videos, and also a total of cost for each member's loan. The problem is, though, is we don't have this total cost in an appropriate format. So, and also the total cost. Um, title is not showing because there's not enough room. So we go back to the the design view and what we can do now is stretch the, the label out here. Let's try again. So that now it actually shows. Um, so we can see the whole label. The second thing is we need to put this in appropriate format. And the way we can do that is by going to format and we're going to select a fixed uh, number. There it is here, so fixed. And the decimal places are going to be 2. Okay, let's have a look at our report view. And now we can see that we've got 3 and 7 here and the total is 10 and $3 and the total is 3. Um, this is generated when the report is generated, so it automatically adds up any of the um, loans that are under the member's name. Now, the only other problem we have here is that we don't have each member's excuse me, details appearing on a separate page. We can do that quite easily. Let's go back to our design view. Now, what we need to do is break up the... Um, each member's details by sending out a new page. The way we can do that is go back to our design tools here and we need to look down the page a bit. In fact, no, we don't have to look down the page a bit. This one here is called an insert a page break. So if we click this one and we put this here, it means that anything under this line, except for the page footer, will go to the next page. And in fact, we'll just bring that up a little bit. So, what we can do now is have a look at the page view, or the report view rather. Now, page one of one, it really doesn't tell us anything. And in fact, it won't show you that there's a page break in here. But if you have a look at the print preview, suddenly we find that we've got loan videos of videos to members, and we've got um, Beasley Snodgrass's loans here on one page. But where are the next member's loans? Well, if we go to the next page, we can now see that this member, Slarty Bartfast, is on a new page. And so by putting in that page break means that each member can be on a separate page. Close the print preview. And what we've done here is essentially es essentially set up a report that will give us um, the list of loans for each members member. It will also add up the cost of those loans and give us a total automatically. This is called a summary field, and it will act upon any of the fields in this group. This is a sum, as we showed you before. You can also use something like count, which will count the number of records in a group. So if we put a count um, feature in here, and in fact we might just try that. So if we go to view and come back to design view, we can actually put another text box underneath this one. And we're going to call this count. And this one is going to go to data and the control source we're going to have equals count bracket oops one a square bracket cost square bracket close okay now if we go and have a look at the report view we can now see that it actually counts the number of the records in each member's um, data.